Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenny Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. So we are moving along this week using fish fillets. Different dishes in which you can use fish fillets. This time we are going to be using some curry in it, coconut milk in it. We're going to be putting together a delightful coconut curry fish. So let's start off by talking about the ingredients. I'm going to be using mahi mahi fish caught by the husband and I've already cut it into chunks. You can use any firm fish or any fillet that you get your hands on. I'm also going to be using some of the GGM products, hot hot curry, black pepper, green seasoning, pimento, tomato, pepper, garlic and onion, some of the must haves whenever I'm cooking any dish. I'm also going to be using bay leaf, but if you can't get your hand on bay leaf, that's okay, you can eliminate it. It just adds an extra dimension of flavor. I'm also going to be using coconut milk, of course. If you have fresh coconut milk, by all means, go right ahead and use that. So I'm going to start off, first of all, by seasoning the fish. Real simple, just add in to green seasoning, salt, and black pepper. And we're just going to mix this up and we're going to set it aside. So this is just a simple seasoning that we are putting onto the fish pieces make sure it's all mixed up nicely and just going to set them aside of course remember you can use as much green seasoning as you like it really depends on you so once we've set this aside we're going to prepare the other items we're just going to be slicing up the onions the tomato pimento i'm going to be grating the garlic and i'm going to be slicing up the peppers now you can check cut it into big pieces small pieces it really doesn't matter the size of it you just want to chop everything up. So once we have everything all nicely chopped up, we're going to start cooking and we're going to put everything together. So I'm going to be starting off by adding some oil, some vegetable oil to my pot on low heat. Once it's nice and hot, I'm going to be adding in all those chopped up items we just did there. I'm going to keep my heat on low and I'm just going to cook this until the onions are nice and tender. You want to stir it from time to time and don't let the garlic burn. So by this time your kitchen is going to be smelling fantastic. Once the onions are nicely cooked through, nice and tender, we're going to add the curry powder to the pot. Still keeping your heat on low, when you add the curry powder, this step is basically to toast that curry and release all those delightful flavors. So you're going to keep stirring it just in case your pot gets a little too hot you can add just a little water but this step can take about two minutes three minutes or so and depending on the pot that you're using all your heat is on low it can get pretty hot so add a little water if necessary and continue toasting that curry powder so once it's nicely toasted we're going to be adding the coconut milk to our pot followed by the water and we're going to be adding the bay leaf as well so now you're just going to let this cook down until that sauce thickens up a bit so once that sauce is to your liking you're going to carefully add in the fish pieces to your pot now remember the fish that I'm using is a fairly firm fish so it will be able to handle the the cook time or the extra heat but if you are using a more delicate fish just remember be very gentle with it you don't want it falling apart so once all our fish pieces are in there all we're going to basically do is just cook this on for a few minutes until those fish pieces are properly cooked through taste and adjust for salt and a couple of minutes later you've got yourself your delightful coconut curry fish So curry lovers, you guys will want to try this coconut curry fish for sure. If you don't have fish fillets, that's okay. You can use sliced fish if you want. Now coconut milk in curry to me adds such a rich flavor. I absolutely love it. So most times, you know, when you're making a curry duck or some nice curry goat, you add that coconut milk for that extra richness. So you guys will notice in this video, what I did was add the fish to the coconut the curry sauce 
So what you can do, another way of going about it, I actually have a curry fish with peas video up. You can actually pan sear the fish before you put it into the curry, but we wanted it to cook in that curry sauce. So hence the reason for putting it into the curry without any prior pan searing or frying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, be sure to try it out. Check out the previous video where I use fish fillet in a fish and mushroom and oyster sauce. Now we jump into coconut curry sauce. If you have any questions on this, comment down below, let me know. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to share with all your friends and your family. See you guys in my next video.